Hello, LEGO fans, and welcome to our review of the LEGO Batman movie, Mr. Freeze Ice Attack Set. Mr. Freeze has his ice freeze ray gun, which is huge! It's made of a bajillion pieces, and it's very hard to balance him. You can just about manage it, yeah, but he hasn't got much range of movement. That's why he needs his mech suit. This is the main build and main attraction of this set. This is Mr. Freeze's mech suit. It's made possible by some quite new mixel type joint pieces, which are stiff enough that you can leave it posed or move it around any which way you like. This is really rather good, a very good development for making mech suits in LEGO. And you can see that the legs are just built up with some extra platey bits and stuff like that. And this fist is a new piece too. It's very nice to get these new pieces. And we can see that his whole body is attached to his legs by a pin and that allows you to swivel him around. And you can just, you know, come up with an action feature like this if you wish. Just think, pretend he's punching a door down or something like that. And he's got plenty of strength in this suit to carry his huge gun now. I think that's the very main reason for having this mech suit. And you can see the technology at play with the greebling. I think it's very good. They've got those ray gun pieces coming out into these pipes. As you can imagine there's some sort of icy water flow or some sort of fuel going through there. It's very good. And this back assembly, I like the look of that, but you can flip it down on the hinge. And that is actually where you place your figure. I'll take him out just to show how easy it is. Take him out and put him in. And he's got a sticker piece there for his control console. So there we have it. I really like this. And here are the other two builds we get with this set. And this one in particular I think is very nice. It is an industrial setup for Gotham Electric Power Plant. And it's just a very small detail, but there's a lot crammed in here. I like the use of the sand green pieces here. And we've got some nice piping all around with these red pieces. Just look at the main wall here. We've got a, a computer screen there. That's a sticker piece. Quite nice. There's a tape reel at the top. We have a control lever here with some lights on, a uh, red and a green, I, I'd imagine that's on and off or stop and go. And we've got a pressure gauge there, I think that's for whatever's coming through these red pipes. So that's very nice. And also this little piece, I think this is just supposed to be some ice, which Mr. Freeze has used from his huge ice freezing gun to freeze this poor security guard. And you can close it up and there he is, frozen solid in ice, and he needs Batman to come along with his flamethrower and melt him free. And the build representing part of the Gotham Electric power plant here is supposed to be put together with little builds from other sets to make a bigger representation of what's going on in the Gotham Electric power plant. This is the Batman minifigure we get with this set and is pretty much the same as all of the Batman minifigures we get with all of the sets in this range, but we'll take a look anyway. He has his cape, he has his batarang, everything you'd expect. And with his cape flipped up, we can see that he has a simple print on the back. And there's a good look at his utility belt, which is a yellow accessory piece. And we can see the printing on this face. And he has a second face right here with some very almost closed eyes. You can barely see them through there, but just about. And he's gritting his teeth, getting down to business. And as well as his batarang, he obviously has something to combat the freezing of Mr. Freeze. It is his flamethrower, Batman. And we also have a security guard minifigure. As his accessory, he has this gun piece made out of two pieces. That's quite nice. He's also using his breathing apparatus to keep him safe from whatever fumes may escape at the power plant. And I really like the printing on this. This could be used for a lot of things, a simple Simple shirt and tie with a security badge, that's very nice. We can see that the security guard has a fine mustache and he has a second face on the back with which he looks very alarmed. I'd be alarmed too if I thought Mr. Freeze was gonna come and freeze me. And I'll just show you what that second face looks like with the breathing apparatus. And here is the bad guy main attraction for the set, it's Mr. Freeze. And I really like the prints all over his body. And he comes with a armored chest and shoulder piece, which is really nice. And that you can use to fit in his bell jar 
headpiece just to keep him in his frozen environment, which he needs to be to be kept alive. He has no alternate face. And here is a closer look at that marvelous print. I really like this. You could use this to mm, represent any kind of spaceman, any of your own made-up figures, your own made-up characters if you want, but it is fantastic for Mr. Freeze and all the technology needed to keep him cool. There is a bit of a print on the front of his armor piece, which is a very nice detail. His face is, looks quite worried. Maybe he's worried he's not going to be cold enough. Thank you very much for watching, and if you've liked this video, let us know by clicking that like button and subscribing to LEGO Loft, and we'll see you next time.